Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. And once again, we are dealing with the youngsters. You remember uh, Dr. Williams coming on, you know, with the mentors, with the uh, evolutionary elders. We, we have one of his young men here who feels that he has to get into it. So what we're going to do, we're going to talk about ESBN. Now, ESBN, I said, what is that? You know, I told Mr. <laughs> Howard, and that's who we have here, Mr. Baron Howard. And he's uh, one of the sponsors of uh, ESBN. Be in, and I'm going to let him handle that one. <laughs> Welcome to the Ed Brown Show. Thank you, sir, and I'm humbled and honored to even be on the show. I did see um, one of my educators, uh, Dr. Williams and Dr. Whitten, on your show mm -hmm. uh, pr promoting evolutionary elders, and I and I and I understand and and, and agree with that. Uh, Entrepreneur Success Builders Network. That is what that acronym stands for. Okay. Entrepreneur Success Builders Network. And I mean, how did you come up with that? <laughs> well, I, I've been, according to my mom, who, who has passed, but she told me I was an entrepreneur around six years old. Mm -hmm. uh, when you they had eliminated corner? Well, basically, I, they had the bubblegum machine back then. <laughs> and so when people would come to our home, or I would go to other people's home, I would mm -hmm. make them put money in the bubblegum machine, mm -hmm. which I could get it for free, mm -hmm. but I wanted to sell my bubblegum. Mm -hmm. And as I grew and, and, and matured, uh, I began to... Uh, uh, sell um, information that I had or or um, different businesses. I've had over 20 different businesses that I started, mm -hmm. never asking for any corporate money, starting them off from scratch. Mm -hmm. So I come from that perspective of business acumen, whereas no one can tell me they can't get into business. It's just how much you want to get in and what you're going to do about mm -hmm. it. Um, entrepreneurs to me was the first term because of being an entrepreneur. But as I matured and as my organization evolved, the networking part began to be as important because I believe that you need to build a network in order to be successful. So the entrepreneur part, there's an entrepreneur in everybody. That's what I believe and we bring it out or cultivate it. But the networking part, I believe, because in the day it was Either you could start a business without a lot of education at the mm -hmm. time in that year, 70s, 60s, mm -hmm. and before. Then in the, in the 70s and 80s, they said, just get a high school diploma. You can start a business. Now in this day, you can have a master's degree or a Ph.D., and you can't find a job. So that the line has been kicked back. But what I say is that you can always start a business. Mm -hmm. You can always be the business. Because in our community, we are the first uh, fired and the last hired. So I always say, if I'm the, if I start the business, I won't be the first fired. Right, <laughs> right. Good. So uh, uh, with that philosophy, you felt that uh, it was necessary to pass it on to the young people. Absolutely. Okay. Um, yes, I do. I feel mm. it's very necessary mm. because of the uh, fact that uh, they're having right now. Uh, they're having an even worse time than the average person that has qualified for a job, that has the qualification. Here, the youngsters, they go to school and they take the student loans out and all, and when they finish, they have a house note to pay back. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and and they, absolutely. Wanted, they wanted to say, how many of us had started out with uh, a house note, you know, after coming out of school, you know? That is rough, and that's why right now, Youngsters are staying home. Some youngsters stay home till they're 30 now <laughs> because of the yeah. fact that uh, uh, there's it's nothing out there for them to really get into. But what they have to do, like you're saying, entrepreneurship, they have to th still think in terms of that. I think the youngsters got to understand what they have done. We've talked about, and you talked about the different eras and everything, but what they have to realize is that you have to get into the business world. We were taught go coming up, you know, okay, you, like you say, get a college education mm -hmm. or get your education, that's it. But see, now it's different. What you have to do, you have nine to five mm. is antique. Yes, absolutely. I, I, I'll, I'll get some responses on that, but nine to five is antique. If you're gonna get in the flow of the economics, you got to get into the business world. Get into the economy of this country, any yes. country that you're in. Absolutely. That's 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 what I think, you know. And I try to tell the young people that 
You know what I mean? That that you have to be part of the system. Yes. The system, the economic system. Yeah, absolutely. That, see, you have to. Youngsters coming today, that's what they have to think in terms of instead of working nine to five for somebody else, work for yourself. And and and, and all of those concepts that you just spoke of is critical in that we teach a job is just above being broke. Mm -hmm. You know, that's going to get you, you back. You miss a day, you, you, you yeah, either have leave or you don't get paid. Absolutely. And the only, <laughs> and it's, it's a couple of jobs that we recommend that people have, and that's a, a CEO mm -hmm. of a Fortune CEO. 500 company. Because in that, you, you, you normally right. walk away with billions of right. dollars, even right. after you lost other people's money. Right. But in our community, we, we say that we have, um, institutions called the, the prison institution mm -hmm. that are starting to look at our kids from the fourth grade to determine where to br build that prison at. So I say if we're going to be effective, we don't, we don't get mad, we get even. Mm -hmm. We say, now how do we start to rear our children? Well, let's start rearing them actually from the womb, teaching mm -hmm. them from the womb. But definitely from elementary school, we need to start giving them the tools for success. Right. And those tools are financial literacy, mm -hmm. life skills, life principles, uh, workforce preparation, uh, even to the point of how do you act in, when you are uh, confronted by law enforcement? Mm -hmm. How do you act? How do you mm -hmm. react? Mm -hmm. uh, how do you dress for success? Mm -hmm. I mean, should you come in a place with your pants low <laughs> or even in your community doing that? Right. Um, and we uh, actually have two programs in Bladensburg Elementary School. Mm -hmm. That's one, where you operate from Bladensburg? Uh, one of, well, yeah, one mm -hmm. of the, the, the uh, mentoring program does mm -hmm. operate out of Bladensburg. Um, mm -hmm. And it's called the LOT program, L-O-T, Leaders of Today. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people say, well, you know, uh, even the announcers that were announcing the program would say leaders of tomorrow because we're so stuck in our minds mm -hmm. of tomorrow. Right. And I, I, I phrased it leaders of today because I wanted those young men to know that the minute they entered the program that they were leaders. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to wait to another day. Mm -hmm. You are a leader today. And we have recently graduated, um, had a ceremony for over 21 kids uh, in May. Congratulations. And, uh, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. And the principal, Dr. Williams of Bladensburg, asked us to uh, pro provide a female component of our program, which this year will be instituted, called the Phenomenal Leaders of Today. Okay. So You, you know, can't leave the ladies out. You can't leave the ladies out. <laughs> well, and one of the things is that women have, and young girls have that model in their homes all mm -hmm. the time, mm -hmm. predominantly because mama stays, daddy right. leaves. Right. And so they have a better opportunity to have a role model mm -hmm. for, for young ladies. So we're trying to catch our young men up. Right. So they'll be, uh, have the same attributes and can mm -hmm. bring a lifestyle and a, and a mindset mm -hmm. to, the, to the table as a wholesome relationship. Right. So we're trying to pair them up. The ladies are really far yeah. ahead of our guys. Right. So right. that's what we're trying uh, to do. On my last show, I had moms mentoring moms. And yes. uh, Miss Sylvia Taylor was uh, talking that was yes. talking about how moms mentor uh, moms because of the fact they set the example. They are around the child longer yes. than uh, the male, even if the male is doing his financial obligation yes. and he's taking the youngster to the basketball practice or football practice or whatever. Yes, sir. Uh, the, the closeness of the mom is, is, is something that, you know, most people, you know, they always remember. They remember Pop, too. You yes, know, but mom, yes. <laughs> mom had a, a, see, just like Pops, although he disciplined you, uh, uh, I, I still remember those backhands, you know what I mean, <laughs> for moms. Moms coming out of, out of nowhere, yeah. <laughs> out yes, of nowhere, yes. yeah. I mean, boy, when I tell you to do something, I mean, for you to do it, yes. don't be frowning up, don't want me to do it. Boom. Absolutely. You know, that's the end of that, you know. So, uh, uh, like you say, the emphasis has to be because actually the male uh, is the victim now. Because uh, he has the responsibility of family job, he has these responsibilities, and he has uh, he's in a competitive yes. uh, situation. Whereas uh, uh, I would say uh, females in, is getting into that out of world competitiveness yes, that they had uh, at in the home, yes. but uh, the male has to face those obstacles right away every day. See. And he has to be able to make that adjustment yes. and realize that he has to make adjustment to the system that you're in. Yes. If you're in a system, you use the system. The systems that you have here in these United States, 
is the fact that you, if you're going to be successful, you have to be economically independent. Yes, sir. And that, that brings me to an uh, organization that I also am a part of called Men Aim a Hire, mm -hmm. which is an organization in PG County that deals with young men from 16 to 29. Mm -hmm. So That's we begin a crucial to be, yes, area. But we want to be that feeder system mm -hmm. to that organization, along with I'm already implemented in uh, the training aspects of mm -hmm. they have a 10-step uh, program that's 20 weeks. So I'm already embedded in that. But what it, what it tells me is that if, for me, Mm -hmm. If we if we have our males, the stronger the male, the stronger the community. Right. Our communities are weak because the male is weak. Right. Uh, our females are carrying their water. Mm -hmm. And so I, I say that if we can get our males up to speed, uh, we cut down crime. Mm -hmm. we, we escalate education. Uh, we also begin to be community activists. Our males should interact with PTA meetings, mm -hmm, the, school, right, the child's right. school mm -hmm, uh, educational right. process. And so that's the things that we're teaching our young males that mm -hmm. they need to do right now. Right. And so when they begin to be of age to be in, in, a, in a male state, that this is not foreign to them, that nobody has to reteach mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. these techniques, right. they'll right. be ready. Right. And that's and that's why I concentrate on the mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. the elementary school, but mm -hmm. I also mm -hmm. work well, with all Well, that age bracket of 16 to 29, that's, that's very crucial. Yes. Because a lot of things uh, that they learn there, that they're involved in, and carry them the rest of their lives. Absolutely, see? absolutely. And, and that's so very important. Well, with Dr. Williams now, have you uh, been active uh, with his group? Uh, how, how do you work? Uh, well, Dr. Williams, he took kind of a hiatus when he left the school system. Mm -hmm. uh, we we invite him out to different programs mm -hmm. uh, that he was very instrumental to me mm -hmm. in, in having me decide to work with young males mm -hmm. because my organization was actually designed for adults. Mm -hmm. but, right. but I grew up in the South. Mm -hmm. Well, partly, but it had a, mm -hmm. a southern rear. Uh, mm -hmm. You're from North rearing. Carolina, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Greensboro, North Carolina, where the, mm -hmm. where the movement of the mm -hmm. uh, uh, lunch counter took yeah, place. Right. But uh, one day I, I came happily t t uh, telling Dr. Williams that mm -hmm. I had just talked to a group of young people from Nativity mm -hmm. in D.C. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, Brother Howard, I really mm -hmm. want you to concentrate on our young males mm -hmm. and because they need the help. They need the help. For me, it made me say, if my mm. elder tells me to do something, mm. I must do it. Right. Unbeknownst to me, I fell in love with the youth. Mm, great. And so that's now, why I did it. Now, well, that, that's something uh, as far as your organization is concerned now. Uh, uh, you're looking for individuals. Uh, how do you recruit? Uh, we, we'll be wrapping this up in a few minutes. Uh, 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 youngster want to get involved with. How do you do that? Well, at the end of the at the end of the program, they'll see our website mm -hmm. information and our email address. Mm -hmm. But we do different programs and do membership mm -hmm. uh, drives, fundraisers, and things mm -hmm. of that nature to yeah. recruit people to come mm -hmm. in. Um, what about well. sponsors? You look yeah, for we look sponsors. for sponsors. Yes, sir. Uh, what about volunteers? Absolutely, that's yeah. all on that, yeah. that membership right. application. Right. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yes because sir. see that uh, that's very important. Uh, just like I was commenting on uh, the uh, track team, uh, Glenn Arden is going down to uh, Atlanta. Yes, you sir. know, for uh, a meet Junior Olympics. Mm -hmm. How the volunteers and the parents are very active. And this is very important that uh, the parents be active, that the youngsters see that their parents say they don't just drop them off at these uh, aff uh, affairs, you know. Like yes, sir. Say, that they, uh, especially the male, and I like to comp uh, really compliment the uh, young males that are, have young children that are out there, you know, behind active behind because this yes. is what this is what the male role is so important yes sir and so i, I want to thank you for being here and uh you, you stay close to dr williams because yes, i tell you dr williams he's on the right track yes. uh he's getting the evolutionary elders individuals that are retired that's just wasting wasting their talent when they could be mentoring yes, sir. Uh, the young people. You know his wife, too, mathematician. I met her, yeah. and his son and, has yeah, spoken yeah, on our right. forms as well, so, Junior. Or great. Yeah. So uh, you keep up the good work and everything.